chemistry of nail polish. Now, a lot of you are probably thinking, why would I want to know anything about it? It's actually pretty interesting, and it all came from some pretty cool places, so here's some information about nail polish that might get you more interested in this topic. One cool fact is that nail polish was invented in 1920 by Revlon. Now, we all also want our nail polish to stay one color. And ultraviolet stabilizers are used in nail polish so that it doesn't change color when exposed to light. During the Ming Dynasty, polish was made from a combination of beeswax, egg whites, vegetable dyes, and Arabic gum. The polish we use today can give its thanks to the car industry. Today's polish is a refined version of car paint. It is unknown who the first person was to invent nail polish, but it was used by ancient Chinese and ancient Egyptians. Chinese royalty often used gold and silver nail polish, but the most expensive nail polish is made of platinum. The two main ingredients in nail polish are butyl acetate and ethyl acetate. Butyl acetate occurs in nature through apples, especially the red delicious variety. Ethyl acetate is a colorless liquid that has a characteristic sweet smell. It is commonly used to clean circuit boards and some nail varnish removers is present in confectionery, perfumes, and fruits. Butyl acetate can be used also for coatings for plastic, nail care, cosmetics, and personal care solvents, fragrant solvents, extraneous solutions, and the leather industry. Ethyl acetate is synthesized in an industry mainly via the classic Fischer estenification reaction in ethanol and acetate acid. The mixture converts to the ester about 65% yield at room temperature. And what you see in pink would be what the equation would be once it is heated. Nitrocellulose is also another main ingredient in the composition of nail polish. Nitrocellulose, also called cellulose nitrate, is a mixture of nitric esters and cellulose and is a highly flammable compound that is the main ingredient of mon modern gunpowder and is also employed in certain lacqueurs in plants. In late 19th and early 20th century, it was the basis of the earliest man-made fibers in plastic materials. The nitrocellulose compounds are dissolved in either butyl acetate or ethyl acetate liquids. When nitrocellulose is dissolved in the solution, then additives including, but not limited to, film-forming compounds, resins, coloring agents, and adhe adhesive resins are put in. The polymers cement to the nail bed to keep the polish on the nail. Now, polymers are a substance containing a large number of structural units joined by the same type of linkage, which would be in our mixture composing of the coloring agents and the compounds. Pigments are mixed with the nitrocellulose and plasterizer using a two-roll different speed mill. The mill grinds the pigment between a pair of rollers that are able to work with the speed that increases as the pigment is ground down. The goal is to get fine dispersion of color. When properly ground down, the mixture is removed from the mill and sheets from then broken down into small chips from mixing with the solvent. The mixing is performed in a stainless steel kettle that can hold anywhere from 5 to 2,000 gallons. Stainless steel kettles are jacketed so that the mixture can be cooled by circulating cold water or another liquid around the outside of the kettle. The temperatures of the kettle and the rate of the cooling are controlled by both computers and technicians. The step is performed in a special room designed to control the hazards of fire and explosion. Now, definitely not the best drawing, but basically what I'm trying to get across here is the mixture is pumped into a smaller 55 gallon drums and then trucked to a production line and the finished nail polish is pumped into explosion proof and then into smaller bottles suitable for the retail market. Which of course come in bottles such as this which will then be shipped in something um, probably not this big of a truck and the nail polish bottles obviously won't be that big, but they will be shipped and and taken to your favorite stores such as Walmart.
Hey guys, thank you so much for watching my video on nail polish. I hope you learned something. See you next time. I'm the type of kid to push away Girls like you who get too close to me This ain't your front porch on Division Street Where